up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for tuning in for another TCG battle video. Today we are gonna play with Dawnwings and the Crows by Jax, but it's not what you think. It's not with Molomar. This time around, we're gonna pair it with our good uh, trash bag that everybody loves to hate, Garbodor. Of course, Garbodor with the Garbotoxin ability is just so good, it's slowing down the opponent, shutting down all abilities in town. If we slap a tool card onto it, and we have a lot of tool cards, we have of course Flowstone, the preferred tool card for Garbodor, but we also have Fighting Fury Belt since that adds the HP up to 220 with our Dawn Wings Necrozma my Jax, and we also have a, a little baby Dawn Wings that gets 170 HP, which always rocks out. And uh, of course, Choice Band to hit those extra numbers because sometimes with that uh, the Jax move, Moon's Eclipse Jax, we can hit 210 damage, which is great against things like Galactic Boss Jax or maybe uh, uh, like a Rock Jax, for example. So as you see, we are running all Psychic types, so we're gonna rely on Mysterious Treasure to get everything out. Only one Ultra Ball because Mysterious Treasure obviously is way better in that regard. Uh, recovery cards, uh, Super Rod and Rescue Strider at our disposal. And uh, if you have not seen already, we're gonna run a split line of Garbodor. Garbodor with Trash Line is just so good. If the opponent relies on a lot of item cards, boom, they will get punished and that's good. We have a great matchup against Boswell, which is great. Uh, Zoroark is kind of a little bit difficult, but if they rely on a lot of items, we might just be uh, working it out here. We're run running Max Elixir and uh, the uh, Lunala Prism start to uh, uh, accelerate energies to all of our Pokemon, but uh, Garbodor, as you all know him, only needs one energy. So that is what we're going to play with today, so hopefully it'll work out. Uh, as mentioned, the, the Molomar version is a little bit better, but I wanted to test it out with Garbodor regardless, just for you guys. So let me know in the comment section what you think about Garbodo with Treasure Lines. Is it making a little comeback? I do think so because Buzzwall is uh, everywhere and uh, Garbodor does have a great matchup against Buzzwall. Buzzwall relies on the uh, Max Elixir, uh, Beast Ring, all those item cards, even Ultra Balls and stuff. Uh, so that's why they get punished. If they get a lot of items in the discard, we can uh, destroy them. So we're facing Carlos and fighting. I uh, wonder what this type of deck is. Maybe this is going to be Buzzwell with Oranguru. I do think that is uh, the logical sense here. So uh, we can go first. We have a little bit of a setup deck since we rely on Max Legger and stuff. And uh, we do have a bunch of Garboders already. So. A uh, little Trubbishes uh, that we're gonna just place on the bench, that Garboder is just uh, so menacing. Okay, and uh, yeah, he has uh, Fire Roar Sleeves, believe it or not, I don't know where he got them, they look pretty sweet. Wow, that flames, imagine if you got those in real life. Okay, we are facing, ooh, Zygarde. I uh, don't even mind too much because we have a GX move that, uh, well, although he has a GX move of his own, so in that regard, let's just give one energy to Trubbish. I do think he is going to rely, of course, on item cards, so we can use Ultra Ball getting some stuff out, but I think we're just gonna go with a net and N here, because, yeah, why not? Let's see what we get, we got a, wow, what is this? What is this? Okay, maybe we're gonna rely on one prize attack, so a bunch of Trubbishes here, and we can use Mysterious Treasure, but I want Ability Lock as soon as possible, so we're gonna leave it at that. Next turn, we use Mysterious Treasure, get out uh, Garbodor with Garbage Toxin, get out of Dawn Wings, and then use Cynthia. Hopefully, that'll work out. We also have five cards in hand, maybe he will end us. In this situation, Zygarde with Lycanroc does seem very good here because uh, with Diancy Prism Star, of course, he's able to hit that 70 damage and our little Trubbish will see the discard. Maybe we should have gotten out our Lunala Prism Star already. But he still needs his DCE. Will he be able to get it out? Wow, Regirock as well. Regirock is showing his face. Max Elixir, I cannot promise you guys that we will win this because... Wow, Max Elixir fails. That's already one item in the discard. At least that's comfortable to know. And N shows up here. Let's just cross our fingers that he does not get the DCE. Otherwise, we will get uh, shredded here. Okay, a bunch of Dawnwings show up. Is that a DCE? It is a strong energy, so we're good. So uh, we dodged a little bullet here, so let's see what we can do. Okay, we have a Dawnwings Necrozma, which we can just safely bench, give him an energy, rely on the Treasure Lange, and also, do we rely on Rescue Stretcher here? Yeah, we're gonna leave Rescue Stretcher in the deck. We can always uh, use it later, and uh, we will get out Garbage Toxins, so that will help us out tremendously. Hopefully we draw into some Max Elixir, maybe we can uh, start using Invasion as early as turn 2, which would be rocking out. We're also gonna just check uh, the Brooklyn Hill, see what is prized. We have our Lunala Prism Star, there seems to be, all the Garbodors are in there, but there's a... Uh, what is prized? Wow. What is this? What is this? Two Max Elixir prized. This is gonna be a slow matchup here for... Uh, there's a Guzma prized. And uh, all energies, uh, except for one, seem to be in the deck. 
Okay, good to know. We're gonna just rely on the heavy Sentia. Hopefully we draw into some max Elixir so we can get our, uh, okay. Two Garbodors. But we have ability lock, so at least that is good for us. Could have also gotten that mysterious treasure to get, of course. Well, we, we can field blow ourselves if need be. So, let's rely on Treasure Lange. We definitely need that ability block this turn. I'm not gonna evolve this uh, Garbodor, uh, this Trubbish just yet because uh, maybe he's going to knock out our Garbodor. You never know what could happen. He could attach a strong energy and then uh, use Guzma, Floatstone, and uh, our Garbodor will see the discard. So, for now, a Treasure Lance is all we need. <laughs> that is. Some significant amount of damage, that's 50 damage. Now he cannot rely on items at all. And if he relies on items, he will be in a difficult situation. So, like a rock will not work at all. Because he is ability blocked. I do think he forgot that or something. Or maybe he has Sycamore in the hand, he wants to clean out his hand. That is probably the case. So, an energy coming to Zygarde. And we're gonna see Sycamore, presumably. Ability lock is just so strong in the early phases. Okay, Sycamore as predicted. Wow. That is the Lycanroc away, so uh, Lycanroc doing nothing at all in this situation. And if he does not get out his item cards... Okay, there's only one item in the discard. He's going to draw cards with his... Uh, Scorched Earth. There's only one energy in the discard. He's, next turn he is able to attack with Lance Rat. Or maybe his GX move. Here comes Ultra Ball, that's an item card. Hmm, can you imagine it? We draw into a beast energy and then, uh, or maybe a sycamore get beast energy together with a max elixir and boom, this one shows up 150, that's perfect. Would be so awesome. Or a max elixir, a uh, manual attachment and a choice band could also do the trick here. <clears throat> okay, we're definitely gonna survive this hit with cell connector and he's going to set up his... Uh, Zygarde. So two energies coming onto that Zygarde. That looks pretty scary indeed. Okay. We can feel blow to have another item in here. One, two, three. That's three items. That's 60. That's 90 damage. Okay, we do draw into the Sycamore. That Sycamore looks sweet. So we're gonna use the field blower. Get rid of his tool card. Get rid of his uh, stadium card. We are gonna evolve into another trash launcher. We have rescue stretcher at our disposal. So... Yeah, we're definitely gonna get rid of everything, so what do we need? What do we need? Lunala Prism Star could be the case to uh, recycle some energies. We have uh, three Pokemon on the bench. He's already 180, but he does not have any energies onto his Lycanroc. So we all have one prize attackers cannot rely on abilities. So I do think that is the best solution here, getting our Lunala up, using Sycamore, and up we go. We got a bunch of energies and a Max Elixir. Oof, that is cool. Cool indeed. Okay. Nothing to work with, unfortunately. So, let's also equip that Fighting Fury Belt so we have more HP. And we don't even need that Bridget at this point, but we are just gonna rely on a heavy trash Lunch, I guess, because that Max Legs are failed. And how many items in this discard? One, two, three. That is three items. Three items. Three items and a, a choice band. That is 90 damage. I can live with that. 90 damage on a Pokemon with a bunch of energies attached. So, he's only having. 60 uh, HP remaining, that's perfect. There's three items in this discard. We have another Trash Lance to uh, work with, so uh, one prize attacker is always better here, and uh, he has to rely on something like a Guzma to do something significant, but we have the Fighting Fury Belt equipped it, so. And the more uh, he relies on items. Oh, wow, another Sycamore play, woof. Two Lycan Rocks. These are gonna be uh, troublesome here. We are uh, gonna have to rely on, uh, okay. He cannot get attacked by GXs. I don't care too much because we have our Garboder. Cool. So we have, ooh, we have, even have our Beast Energy. That is definitely interesting. So retreat. It is boom. Uh, let's see, Brooklyn Hill. We can get out another Trubbish here. Although, although, do we do that? He has a strong energy on his Lycan Rock. Maybe we should wait. He has able to hit 150. 150 with a strong energy is uh, 170 with the Diancy Prism Star 190 and that's 200 with the Reggie Rock. 200 minus 20 is 180. He does not able to uh, one shot our Dawnwings here, so at least we're good for now. We're definitely gonna use Bridget here to just get out nothing at all. So just check what is in the deck so we don't draw into it. And now let's use Trash Lange. Get out of here, Zygarde. Okay. 
two cards. He needs, uh, in this situation, he needs Field Blower. He needs another strong energy, or does he? No, he just, just needs Field Blower and Guzma. And a Flowstone and stuff. Okay, that's cool. Choice Band equipped it, DCE equipped it. Is he gonna Claw Slash? Is he gonna Claw Slash? That is what I wanna know here. Now, we're not gonna bench anything uh, if uh, another of, of our Pokemon dies. We are not afraid of his GX move, so that is the situational thing here. He is still ability blocked, so that is awesome, so no... Oh yeah, the Diancy Prism Star and the Regirock does not work indeed, uh, unless he re relies on Field Blower. Claw Slash! We do see the uh, KO thanks to the strong energy. And now we only have two bench Pokemon, so that is awesome. We can rely on Dark Flash. Dark Flash is 150, 160. What can we KO for 160 damage? Maybe the Prism Star, so his damage output gets significantly decreased. How many Float Tones? Only one in his discard. Oof, interesting to see. We can rely on Max Elixir here. Yeah, I think Max Elixir is cool in this situation. We're gonna just set up our Lunala to be our alternate attacker. And I don't think even with his GX move that he will be able to do some stuff. We have Guzma to uh, go after him uh, later. So in that regard, we can Guzma the Zygarde. He does not have Floatstone. That looks sweet. We do have a bunch of Floatstone still left in the deck. And uh, how many Guzmas in his discard? Only one. Does he have multiple ones? I do think he relies on Lycanroc's ability. But that could be wrong here. That could be totally wrong. Do we target the Zygarde or do we target the Lycanroc? I think in this situation, I'm just gonna Dark Flash here. Because uh, this one has the most energies equipped and uh, that next turn we just Guzma it out. That is the reasoning behind this thing here. Uh, he can Claw Slash. He is ability blocked, so in this situation, Claw Slash deals one. 130, 160, 180, 190. Wow, there comes a Zygarde out of nowhere. How many items in his discard? Three, four, five. Five items. That is a lot. That is a lot. Five items. That's already 100 damage. Do you think he's going? Okay, one, six <laughs> items. So he's going heavy here. Definitely gonna get out our little trubbish next turn. And we will rely on, uh, okay, here comes the Claw Slash, not that it matters too much. Okay, we have energies to work with. We can Guzma this one out, we can KO this one. So, in that regard, let's get rid of the Fighting Fury Belt. Let's get our Trubbish out. There is no way to get our uh, Treasure Launcher back. We will have uh, zero attackers from this point in the game but we're definitely gonna get out another trouble you never know when it might come in handy here we go there's oh, two trash lancers in the discard rescue structure and super rod is in there as well not cool indeed but maybe we can get a bunch of uh, shenanigans going with our uh, lunella prism star could be awesome ah what do we do sycamore guzma sycamore guzma mm-hmm How many Guzmas in this card? Zero. So in this situation, I think Sycamore is the obvious play here. We have Choice Band, we have Max Elixir. So Max Elixir, hopefully it will work out. It doesn't work out. Ah, oh, that is harsh. Definitely harsh. Okay. I cannot promise you guys that we will win, but definitely uh, am trying my best to do what needs to be done here. Dark Flash. Hopefully we will get something sweet out of the prize cards. Boom, boom. Max Elixir. Ooh, I like the Max Elixir uh, at this part in the game because uh, we still have a bunch of energies left in the deck and the Max Elixir with the attachment on the Lunala Prism Star will help tremendously. Psychic Storm, that's at uh, 20 damage for every energy in play, which will already 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. So uh, that's cool. He already used his Jax move. Unless he relies on Bonnie, we will be safe here. And we also have uh, access to Guzmas. 
which rocks. Okay, we will see the discard here, unfortunately. With that Lance Wrath, we'll be able to deal enough damage as it is thanks to that Joyce Band. Oh, here comes the Sycamore. He only has four cards left in his deck, but that Sycamore is kind of huge. How many ants have we already disposed of? One. I think we need to use an ant in this situation. But we are ability blocks, so the uh, Laylists are kind of useless. So, Max Elixir coming up. Here we go. Boom. Boom. This one deals 130. 130. We still need him in an ability block. Or an ability lock for that matter. Choice band. We can Guzma something out. So that way he needs to retreat. Or we can Guzma attack this one. Guzma again. How many field blowers in his discard? I don't see any field blowers. Ooh, that is harsh. Harsh indeed. Well. 130. 140. One strong energy here. Two strong energies there. I think if we target the Diancy Prism Star, he's uh, limited at 140. 140. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 120. 140, 160, choice band, 20, okay, okay, I think I got it. Let's target the Regirock with a bazillion amount of damage, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, whoa, this is game, this is game, okay, that was indeed close indeed, so, Side Storm gets the KO, boom, so that was it for uh, today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Garbodor Lunala deck, definitely a uh, Dawnwings ne uh, Necrozma Jax, definitely worked out in our favor here. So I had to think a little bit, didn't make a, hopefully I didn't make any play misplays, but that's definitely a fun deck to play with. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button as always. And uh, always uh, be sure to subscribe so you get the latest content on the channel. And uh, you'll be updated automatically when you click the notification bell. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you guys soon enough for more Pokemon TCG content. I'm out. Peace.